Okay, so let's talk about bedtime. I know, it's terrible, it's stressful, but, so I've owned a daycare for like, I don't know, 30 years probably, and so I can tell in the morning if your child had a hard night or if your child went to bed late because they're just, they're like, meh, whiny, and um, they probably need an extra hug or two. So anyway, kids learn in three ways, consistency, repetition, and imitation. So if you're consistent on a daily basis, which means, you know, the kids come home from daycare or school, they have dinner, they have a bath, you read them a book, and it's bed. So these transitions are done the same way every day. And so there's an expectation, right? So um, again, it's dinner, bath, book, bed. And we don't sway from that. So maybe um, bedtime 7.30, 8 o'clock, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. So, you know, you say, okay, you know, we're going to have dinner after dinner. We're going to have a bath. And after bath, you can pick a book. And after book, we're going to bed. So you have to tell them what the expectation is. And you have to do this every night. You have to be consistent. So anyway, so you've done all those things. It's dinner, it's bath, it's book, it's bed. I don't want to go to bed. So you put them in their bed. Now, what I've, I have done before, I've sat in their bedroom and I don't make eye contact. I just kind of look you know, at my book or whatever I'm doing until they fall asleep. And sometimes I, I, I think I started with one of my children close to the bed. So every night I kind of went closer to the door. Do not look them in the eye. They'll see your fear. <laughs> Just don't pay any attention to them, even if they're crying, which they probably will. And if you can't get them to bed, this is going to take a couple nights and you have to be strong. And if they start crying at two in the morning, you got to put them back to bed. And this may um, make you really tired because it's going to take a couple days. But after you fix this, you're going to be happier because if you can get your child in bed by 730, Guess what? You can go do the laundry. You can do the dishes. You can sit, have a glass of wine, watch the Hallmark Channel, which is my favorite channel, by the way. You can do whatever you want. You can sit and talk with your husband and, you know, catch up on the day. But you have to fix this for your own sanity. Um, so remember, dinner, bath, book, bed. It's okay if you're in the room. Do not make eye contact. Just just don't even look at them. Make your way to the door each night. Come closer to the door to leave. I, I, I have had parents who just shut the door and let them cry. That's fine too. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Some people can't do that. I get it. You know, that, that's my baby. But for your own sanity, you have to be consistent and you have to do it nightly. If your child's going to bed at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, that's a problem. So you got to start early, maybe as soon as you get home, so you can get it initiated earlier, right? Dinner, bath, book, bed. <laughs> Be strong. You can do this. I know it's hard, but you can do this. For your own sanity, do it. Love you very much. Visit us at adventuresofscubajack.com. Have a great day.